Hey, I'm Joy and this is Yoga with Joy, this is my channel. And if you've been enjoying my videos, you could subscribe um, to this channel if you wish and like this video if you decide you like it. And yeah, just leaving comments is so nice. It's so great to hear from you. Um, so this practice is, yeah, it's really, it's a lovely gentle one. Um, go quite slowly, a lot of attention to the breath, but we do start standing up, so it's got a lovely flow to it. Um, and I just hope you enjoy it. And um, we do actually use a strap. So if, when we do Janushashasana, this one, there's a, you could use a strap if you want to, um, but only if you have one and it could be a, it could be a belt or a scarf. Um, and if you ever need, if you know you need any blocks and cushions and stuff to sit on, in pigeon, actually, we do pigeon, this one. Um, some people need, if I do it this way, it'd be easy to see. Some people need a cushion or blanket under here or a block under here. So if you've got anything like that, that can really help with pigeon. Other than that, just find, a, find your yoga mat and see you in a moment. O oh, radiant sun, pure consciousness, flaming orb of truth and bliss, remove the veil so I can see, illuminate my heart, awaken me. Let's start standing up. So come to the front of your mat, feet hip width apart, the outside edges of the feet in line with the mat. So it's, it feels like your feet are slightly going inwards. The hip width is in line with your skeleton hips. And bring the hands to the heart center. And with slightly soft knees and soft shoulders. Take a few deep breaths here with your eyes closed on the top of your mat hands in Anjali Mudra and the heart. Take a couple of deep breaths. Feeling the lengthening as you inhale from the crown of the head. You can imagine a golden thread lifting you. And then as you exhale, softening the shoulders and the back of the neck. And then lowering the arms and then bring them up like wings. Inhale up. Exhale and Jali Mudra down into Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Take a breath in and then step back to downward facing dog. So it's first downward dog of the day. So bending the knees. In half downward dog. And then lift up onto tiptoes in an acute dog. And then exhaling down into the full expression of downward facing dog. Walking out the heels if you wish. Lifting up your belly. And then finding for a moment the heels down as far as they will go. In the down dog. Relaxing out your head. Your neck, you can just shake your head a little bit. You'll nod it. And if that's okay with your neck, breath in, lower the knees down. Coming up into upward cat. Fan exhale down into child. Inhale, upward cat. And then bring the legs out and coming into plank. So you can keep your knees down in plank, that's fine. 
Mm. But if you wish, you can have your legs out. A straight plank position, keeping your tummy tucked in, lifting up pelvic floor. And then exhaling your knees down first and then the rest of your body. Inhale up into baby cobra, just really low, so you could actually take your hands off the mat if you wish. You could use your muscles. And exhale down. Inhale a little bit higher if you wish, but you can stay low if you want to. Your elbows are bent and they're in at the side. Opening up the chest. Take a breath here. And then exhale down. Inhale. Back to the knees. And exhale back into downward dog. Breath in. Lower the knees down. Inhale up. Exhale back into child. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Freeing yourself back up. And on the next exhale, bring your right leg forward, the outside edge of the hands. Inhale forward. Exhale back. So you're flexing the foot, giving your hamstring a nice stretch. Inhale forward. Exhale. Good. Perfect. And then bring yourself to stillness as you come forward. Place the left hand down and the right hand comes up. Taking a couple of breaths here. In this twist, so you're looking out over the the side of your body. If you can, your, um, your gaze is up at your top hand, if possible, otherwise just straight ahead's fine. And then bring the hand down. And either stay in low lunge, or you can bring yourself up into a higher lunge. But if you wish, you could heel toe the right foot in a little bit. Um, so that you're not so wide. See how it is, and hands on hips to begin with. Lifting up your front toes and relaxing them down. And then hands at the heart, your knee is, knee is over your ankle. <laughs> it can get wobbly. Deep breaths. And then lifting up Prana Mudra. Opening up the chest. <sighs> Wonderful, strong breaths, that's great. And then the hands back to the heart. And then bringing yourself down, lowering the knee down and bringing your right leg underneath you into pigeon. So you can shuffle back your left leg. And so you're giving yourself a nice gap here. Now if you need to, you're putting a blanket underneath this hip, the right hip. So if you're, you've got the right leg bent and if you need to, to stop yourself rocking over, you can place a blanket under there or a cushion or a block. Inhale, open, exhale. Gently fold forward and you can stack your fists if you wish. So you're resting here. Or if you can, you're coming all the way down. If it's okay for your neck. See how it goes, see how your body feels. A few deep breaths. And inhale, bring yourself up. That's 
lovely. Breath in, straighten the back leg. And then bring yourself back onto knee, um, to, to your knees and then back into downward dog. Give yourself a bit of a walk out and you can shake out that leg, the one that you've been lying on. Have a moment in down dog with a breath cycle. And then start to walk the feet towards the hands. You're bending your knees, as hanging here. This kind of like monkey pose. Mm -hmm. Your arms lovely and loose. Looking at your feet, so the outside edge in line with the mat, hip width apart. Bring your, if you can, you've got bring your peace fingers, these ones, around your big toes. Hasta parangostasana, this one is. Uttahita, which means upright. So then, uttahita hasta parangostasana. So hasta is your hands and parangosta is your big toe. So straighten your back and then exhale, fold forward. And you might need to bend your knees a little bit. Deep breaths. Your eye gazes at your big toes. And bending your elbows. And then inhale, straight, flat back again. Hands to the hips, bend the knees. And exhale, bring yourself up. And bring the hands to the heart centre. Taking a couple of breaths here. Relaxing here in this mountain posture. Feeling the golden thread lifting you from the crown of the head, relaxing your shoulders and back of the neck. Your face, your jaw. Then bringing the hands down and bring them up like wings, lifting up. Hands into Anchali Mudra through the, um, by the chest and down. Exhale. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Take a breath in and then step back to downward dog. And just take a few breath cycles here, resting here in down dog. Breath in. And lower the knees down. Inhale, upward cat. Exhale, back into child. Take a couple of breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale into upward cat. Exhale back into plank. So you can keep your knees down, of course. Take a breath in and bring yourself down in chaturanga or lower the knees and come down. Chaturanga goes like this. Bring yourself down, hover. And then gently place yourself down. You have your elbows in at your side, your hands are by your shoulders. Inhale, exhale, and then take a breath in, either low cobra, or you could even lift up your hands if you need to, or high cobra. Bring yourself in with it, um, up further, opening up the chest, bent elbows. Inhale. Exhale down, lovely. Take a breath in. Exhale back, downward dog. Lower the knees down. And then bring 
your left leg forward. So okay, here we're bringing the hip, hip and hamstring stretches. So inhale forward, exhale back. So the, the foot is on the outside of your hands. So it's a bit wider. It opens up your hip a little bit more. Lovely, good. Enjoying the stretch. That's good. Exhale back and inhale forward, placing the right hand down and the left hand up. If you can, you're looking up at your left hand. So you've got that arm going up to the sky, the left one, and the right is going down to the earth. And then bringing the hand down. And then turning your toes around so that you're coming into a lunge. And you can bring your left leg in a little bit so that you're not on a tightrope, but so you're not quite so wide if you wish. Your knee is over your ankle. Hand at the heart, looking straight ahead. And then bring the hands up into prana mudra. Lovely, strong breaths. Then bring the hands back to the heart, great. Lowering your hands down, your knee down, and then bringing your pigeon in. So you've got your, your left leg in underneath you and then lift up your right leg um your leg with it um, onto your toes and shift back so you're opening up your hips inhale open and then gently folding forward remember you can stack your fists and also remember you can put a cushion or a blanket under the left hip here it really helps if you're finding you're falling over onto the side Trying to keep our, our hips as parallel as we can. So they're in line with each other. Remember you can fold forward your forehead on the mat if you wish. Deep breaths. Inhale. Exhale. And then bring yourself up, opening up the chest. Lovely. And releasing the leg, coming back onto all fours, and then back into downward dog. And if you wish, you can have a little walk out of your dog and shake out your left leg. And then lowering the knees down and bring your legs into cross legged underneath you that's fantastic good and then bringing your right leg out and your left um, foot in so you've got bent left leg now you might want to put a blanket under here or a blanket under here however it is for you and this is where we use the strap if you want to there's all sorts of things you can use there's a block under here and <laughs> you can just really go for it Okay, so if you wish to use a strap, you can. So looking at your big toe, so pada drishti, pada being the foot. Inhale, and then exhale, gently folding forward. Now, if you're not using a strap, you just can place your hands anywhere you want. And it might be that you're up to here, it might be you're really flexible and you're doing things like this. Let's see how it goes. Inhale. Exhale. So this practice is for anyone. It doesn't matter what level you are. You can find your way. I don't know if there's such a thing as levels anyway in yoga. Not, not to do with asana really. 
not to do with the postures. It's different limbs of yoga, the eight limbs of yoga, of Patanjali. That's a whole other teaching. <laughs> The main thing is just to go at your own pace. Exhale, lovely. And then bring yourself up. And then bring the left leg out and the right leg in. This one's called Janu Shushasana. So Janu being your knee and Shirsha being your head. And so we're bringing ourselves to the other side now. And so finding your strap if you're using it, or the floor, or the shin, foot. Inhale up. Exhale, fold forward. Breath in and exhale. Lovely. Deep breath. And then begin to bring yourself back up. Wonderful. And make your way onto the mat with your knees facing the ceiling and your feet hip width apart. And then bring your hands out to your side. You can lower them down so they're parallel with your shoulders, but then you can just lower them about an inch or something. And lift up your hips, bring them over to the right side. And then on an exhale, you can drop your knees over to the side and look over to your right side. Oh yeah, they're going over to the left, <laughs> the knees. And then you're looking out over your right. Deep breath. So you can start to Calm the breath down now. So when I say deep breaths at this point, I'm actually just meaning your own breath. Rather than having to have a particular breath for the stronger practice, just start to unwind and relax now. Inhale, bring your legs back up your knees facing the ceiling, bring the hips back to neutral and then over to the other side and allow the knees just to drop over to the right side and head over to the left. Relaxing breath, your natural breath. Start to unwind and no longer needing to engage Any particular muscles, just relax in the twist. And then bring your knees back up, lift up the hips, and then back to centre. And then draw the knees in and have a little rock from side to side. And then bring the feet up. You can have a being a happy baby. With the feet, hands touching the feet. You can always use a strap or just have your hands inside here and touch your thighs. You can try your hands inside your feet as well, or outside your feet. See which one you prefer. And then if you can and want to, you can bring your peace fingers around your big toes. Stretch out your legs and have a wide leg stretch. Deep breaths, relaxing breaths though. <laughs> Even a sigh. And then begin to bring yourself down into Shavasana. It's the corpse pose. So you're completely relaxed now. And so you might, may wish to put a blanket over you 
or something underneath your head, anything like that. Completely, fully relax. Feeling your body heavy on the mat. Feeling yourself cradled and held by the earth beneath the mat. There's no need to do anything at all. You can completely rest. And you can completely rest and relax. I invite you to stay here resting. But if you wish to, you can bring your knees up and bring yourself over onto your side. And then gently up to seat it. But please keep resting if you would like to rest for longer. Take a couple of breaths here and seated. Bring the hands into Anjali Mudra at the heart. Namaste. Thank you for sharing this practice. It's a real pleasure to have you here. And yeah, if you enjoy the, this practice and my other videos, you could subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And of course, for this particular video, you can give it a like and a comment. It's so nice to hear from you and where you come from and how you, how you enjoyed this practice. So, flaming yeah. lots of love and see you again soon. Remove the veil so I can see.